What is going on, everybody? Dan on Filter checking out Motionless and White Immaculate Misconception. I like that title. Because we can go down a whole bunch of paths with that. I like that title. So this comes from Chris, a Patreon. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. Chris? Is it? Chris Motionless? Subscribed? No, that'd be fire, though. <laughs> that'd be fire. Hey, and you never know. You never know. But hit like. Subscribe. It's been a while since I've heard Motionless Motionless and White. Which is kind of crazy. Because the scoring, scoring the End of the World album from, uh, I think it was last year. Absolutely fucking fire. One of the best albums I heard all last year. It's really good. Porcelain? Masterpiece? Come on, man. Those are really good. Those are my personal favorites off the album. I'm thinking... Yeah, it, it's kind of tough though. It's a really good album. The ladder, it's not on last, it's not on that album, but fucking love that song. Another life, different album, still fire. Oh, fuck that. Just put it on there fucking gently. Oh. Talk heavy. Talk to them, Chris. Talk to them. Open your mind before your mouth. I would say say it louder, but he said it pretty fucking loud, so. But Jesus Christ, 100. That's another thing. I said it during the scoring the Into the World album. 
They are very underrated in terms of lyrics. Like, super underrated. The lyrics is what makes the latter so special to me. Like, uh, same with Masterpiece. The man's got, like, legit bars in Masterpiece. Like, he had a whole, like, art scheme in one of the verses. Good lord, man. <sighs> Motionless and White is one of those bands that you low-key can kind of forget about when you do a channel like this. You know, I can't just... I would love to just binge a whole bunch of Motionless and White. They're awesome. But, you know, I, I gotta wait for someone to request it so I don't, like, spoil it. I don't want to have to have heard it first, not on camera. So, they're one of those that I can forget about over time. But then once you hear another song, it's like... They're top tier. They're top tier. Lyrically, they're... I'm trying to think. I don't want to, like, hyperbole, but... I was going to say they're number one of active bands of this genre, the metal genre. Lyrically, like, writing is... They're writing, their pen... Fucking A1. Like, A+. plus. And it always is. But they have certain lines that just go, God, that hit you. And they stick. They, they do that kind of often. But also, vocally. So not only is their, their writing and lyrics like criminally underrated, but it's time for me to start mentioning Chris Motionless more when, I, when on other videos I talk about so-and-so being in the discussion of best metal vocalist currently active. Chris Motionless needs to be brought up. That's my fault. I gotta bring him up more. Because, of course, it's like Corey Taylor, obviously. But he... Corey Taylor and Jonathan Davis... Which, Jonathan Davis isn't in the discussion. He doesn't have a voice like this. Love love Corn, but Jonathan Davis isn't in that discussion. But, like, Corey Taylor, great voice, great harsh vocals, all that. But he's got... He kind of gets pushed into, like, the, the icon legend status because they don't have albums that often. Slipknot can retire at any moment. So, current active ones, you got, like, the singer of Bad Omens... Chris Motionless needs to be brought up. Uh, Will fucking Ramos. Like, I gotta, I gotta remember to bring him up more. I do. That's, that's on me. Like, I even bring up Howard Jones a lot. Yeah, Chris, Chris deserves a little love. Chris deserves, uh, Chris deserves some love. Hit like, Pierce, oh, my bad. Chris, appreciate you. Chris, if, if you're Mr. Motionless, just... Just, 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 you know, just, I would say blink twice, but it doesn't work that way. The camera only goes one way. <laughs> I would say, uh, there's got to be some way you can let me know that only I would know without giving it away. Be pretty cool, though. If you are still here, then you are a real one. It's like, even his clean vocals are, like, perfection, but his screams under-fucking-rated. Especially when he hits the ones with bass. Woo! 